Hi, I'm Steve Drake from Sorrel Restaurant in Dorking and today I'm cooking guinea fowl with roasted hispy cabbage, pickled pear, parsley root and a coco van style sauce. Straight over to the guinea fowl. Uh, first I'm going to take the wings off and I use the, the wings for the sauce. Legs off. Beautiful meat guinea fowl. Very healthy, super tasty. First I'll do the, the thighs. Remove the drumstick like so and then we've got beautiful thighs there. A little trick that I do, I put my knife onto the thigh bone and I press and I'm pushing this way. So I'm pushing this way and I'm going to roll that bone off. So there is our thighs complete. The crown of the guinea fowl, we're just going to whip that off the bone. We're just going to tidy the breast up and there we are. There's our lovely, lovely breast. So with the thighs now, we're going to season them with some juniper berries. And rub some juniper on there some time and then that will be covered in red wine and left for 12 hours. In a similar way we just take the breast again no salt whatsoever and this just will be marinated in red wine for about 12 hours and then we're just going to wrap it very gently in cling film and then we're going to poach that. Now this doesn't take as long this only takes uh, one hour at 60 degrees. So for me the most exciting part of this dish is this wonderful hispy cabbage and I'm just going to put this in the oven about 30 to 40 minutes at 240 degrees. I'm going to put some butter in the pan so at the moment you can hear it foaming and then when it goes silent we can add the meat. Pan's gone quiet, now I can add the meat. Clove of garlic and a couple of sprigs of thyme. So this doesn't take long because the meat is already cooked. Now I'm going to pop this in the oven just for two minutes only. Okay, so the guinea fowl's ready. And look at that, that's beautiful. The residue of red wine on the skin really comes through and the smell is amazing. The aroma is incredible. Okay, so now we can plate up. And first off, we've got some parsley root puree. Beautiful earthy flavor. I have pickled pear cooked in a little bit of pickling syrup. Then we've got the cabbage. Listen to that lovely skin. And I'm just going to cut off a little portion of this to go on there. And then on top of that, red cabbage juice. Juiced and then reduced down to this almost like it's a syrup. We're going to add beautiful Stilton. Obviously Stilton goes very well with pear, goes very well with cabbage. And now we've got our guinea fowl. If you look at that, that's just stunning. And then we have the leg, which was cooked for 12 hours. We have our sauce. So this is a Coco Van style sauce. So I finished it with a tiny bit of very bitter chocolate. Got a little bit of parsley oil and it's just a tiny bit. Well, there's two final seasonings, red cabbage powder. And then finally, a tiny bit of salt and the meat on the skin. It's, it's complex, but it's not complicated. The flavors work incredibly well together. So we've got guinea fowl with parsley root, roasted cabbage, pickled pear, and a coco van style sauce.